Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Anthony Joseph, and I am a coach for Cal State University of Fullerton. And I have been a policy coach and debater for the last 10 or so years. Um, I will be talking to you all today about the basic tenets of Afro-pessimism, and we'll be going over that. And this lecture series will just bas basically be going into in depth about how to answer Afro-pessimism, how to run Afro-pessimism, basically how to understand what it is that Afro-pessimism is saying. So let's get into it. If we were to define Afro-pessimism, just if I was to look up the Webster's Dictionary definition, Afro-pessimism is a critical framework. It is a framework that describes the ongoing effects of racism, colonialism, and the historical processes of enslavement, which include the transatlantic slave trade and their impact on structural conditions, as well as the personal, subjective, and lived experience and embodied reality of African Americans. Now that's just the basic, you know, general definition. And, you know, I wouldn't, it's definitely, you're able, definitely able to, you know, take that definition for what it is, you know, so you can definitely s switch that definition around, you know, make it a little bit malleable, but we'll get into it. For me, Afro-pessimism is basically and purely about an anti-relation. Currently in the world, we, assume that the relationship between Black people and non-Black people represents a shared value, that there is some commonality that exists between us that allows for us to understand the experience or the lived embodied reality of another person. And Afro-pessimism is trying to speak about that lived experience another way. And so Afro-pessimism is about a structural framework for thinking, right? It is about thinking about how we can elevate our current analysis of systemic racism to a point in which we can understand the true and lived experience of Black people. Why is it that Black people are constantly murdered every, every day? Why are, did Breonna Taylor die in her home? You know, why was Corin Gaines legally owning a gun, you know, defending her child and still murdered, right? Why was Sandra Bland murdered? Why was all, all of these Black people constantly, you know, die at the hands of the police state? And Afro-pessimism is just basically critiquing our assumption that these things are not part of a pattern, right? That they do not, they are not symptomatic of the way that the world thinks, acts, and views Black people. Two, Afro-pessimism is basically symptomatic, right? Uh, it is basically speaking to the way that liberation struggles, if we're thinking about liberation struggles like AIM, liberation struggles like BLM, liberation struggles like the BPP, like the BLA, right? Like all of these, you know, high, you know, intense liberation struggles, even liberation struggles now, you know, these days, what are the problems that they constantly run into, right? And so Afro-pessimism is basically asking, why is it that these liberation struggles constantly run into these problems? And it's back to the anti-relation, right? We are in these liberation struggles currently because we believe that the relationship that exists between Blacks and non-Blacks, yeah, there's some fracturing there, but we believe that the value, the shared value that exists between us as humans, right, as people, allows for us to overcome the way that we are violent towards one another. And that is the assumptive ethic that we have about the world. And Afro-pessimism is saying that, you know, if we really think about it, if we think about it, you know, on an unconscious level, if we think about it, you know, 
existentially, then we could come to an understanding of the way that Black people are constantly positioned and put as, you know, a tool, as fodder for liberation struggles, for the empire, for everyone to use, you know, and chew up and then spit out, right? And that is basically the concept of fungibility, right? Afro-pessimism is speaking to how Black bodies are made available for consumption, you know, by the world. And the people, the two main people who've coined Afro-pessimism is Sidia Hartman and Frank Wilderson, right? And these two authors, you know, write extensively about Black insurgency because that's what Afro-pessimism is about, right? Slavery has never ended, right? Slavery never ended. You know, we learn about how, um, you know, from the Middle Passage, you know, that, you know, we had, you know, mutations of slavery, right? And that, you know, over time, you know, we're no longer in chains. And so that, you know, we have the, the right to, you know, free speech and like, all of these alienable rights that the United States, you know, grants us as citizens, you know, sort of speak to how the United States believes that slavery did end, right? And all of these unconscious, you know, micro, macro aggressions, all of these violent, you know, uh, lash outs that happen on behalf of the state, on behalf of the world is ultimately why slavery has never ended, right? Just, you know, let, like a couple of years ago, we heard about all these people constantly, you know, still getting lynched, right? You know, people are still getting lynched from trees today. And that's what Afro-pessimism is about. It's like the same type of things and the same ideologies that existed when slavery was legally in effect has now subsided and it's become an insidious, you know, thought processes that still projects, you know, their insecurity and their fear of black people on to the flesh of black bodies. And that is ultimately why black people constantly still in this day at any and every given moment can die. And that's what Afro-pessimism is saying is that at any and every given moment, any black person can die because that is the result of our current you know, relationship to the world. And so that is why blackness has never been human. Right, because we have never seen blackness as a thing that was ever coterminous with a full human. Right, we've always, uh, you know, negotiated the the um, worth of black people in relationship to the human, and so Afro pessimism is trying to speak about how that is not a shared value between there. There is no commensurability that exists between black and non-black bodies. Right. And so that is why we are constantly seeing the way the world accumulates that thinking, right? And constantly projects it once it becomes, you know, once those people are unable to deal with that overwhelming, you know, inertia that comes from the fear and hatred of Black people, that is when you see violence and murder at the hands of the police state. Um, We'll get a little bit more into Afro-pessimism, you know, the tenets of the Black body, accumulation, fungibility, gratuitous violence, natal alienation, general dishonor, all of those things um, a little bit later. Yeah.